Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make text look like it's behind something using After Effects. So I have a project open right here. Um, you're gonna to need to open a new composition, but I got one already open. I'm gonna click it right here. First thing I'm gonna do, obviously, is type my text. So what I got here is the inauguration of Donald Trump. But I'm gonna type 2017. I feel like that's something that is not controversial, that it's actually 2017 and I can use it extremely easily in this video. And then I'm gonna place it on the step because I want it to look like it is right behind Trump. So 2017, Trump, I want 2017 to look like it's behind Trump. That is what this video is all about. So first thing you're gonna do is to make sure that your text layer is selected. So down over on the far bottom left, click on your text, go up to layer, click mask, new mask, and then these yellow lines will appear, and this is your mask, and a mask is literally what it says it does. It, it masks items from being seen. So you wanna click this pin tool, which you can select by using G, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna start making points all along this mask. So I'm gonna put one here, 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 kind of all along this side where I want to mask. Then I'm gonna begin dragging these points on the area that I want to mask. So as you can see, I have put the points around him, but it's a really rugged, there's this jaggedness. So let's fine tune that and make it a little nicer by clicking on our um, 2017 layer, clicking masks, and then going down to mask feather is what we want. And just go ahead and drag that up to maybe 15 or 16 or however looks good on what you're doing. And as you can see, it kind of makes it a little see-through to where it could possibly be behind Trump. Next thing I would suggest is to make sure it's not completely white, it's a little off-white. Nothing in reality is like pure white. Um, so I'd make it a little gray. And then finally, um, I would add a drop shadow to make it a little realistic. So search drop shadow, drag it onto your layer. Um, and then, you know, just mess around with it. I always crank it up so that I can see it and then kind of push the distance up and I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, I do not want that dark. So I'll put it first of all where I want it, kind of on the steps or is where I'm gonna want it. Um, and then I'll bring it back to the place I want it to set kind of right on the steps. I increase the softness a little bit and then obviously turn the opacity way back down to like 20% or something like that. So there you go, you got a text that is behind an object. It looks like it's behind the object. But of course, this is a video, so as the video plays, the object, um, AKA Trump in this video, moves. And so what do you do in order to continue to mask it as your object moves? Well, you gotta get into keyframes. And this is long and tedious, I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then, good luck, I'm gonna leave you to it. So what you gotta do is you gotta go down, click on your layer again, uh, and then head on down to mask path. Make sure that you keyframe it where you want it and then drag forward on the timeline a little bit. And then as you can see, Trump moves and uh, it does not look like it's behind it anymore. So what we gotta do is go back to the pin tool and then drag our points to where we want them around Trump. And then as we slide back and forth across the timeline, um, we'll be able to see, okay, it, it, it looks like a more fluid motion, but the pain in this is that, um, that while there are cheats, this is the surefire way to make every sh single frame looks pristine. So anyway, for the most part, guys, that is how you make a text look like it is behind an object in After Effects. Thank you for watching.